Galactic Conquest. You battle your enemy one planet at a time for total control of the galaxy. Every planet has two battlefields. You must attain victory on both battlefields to control the planet. With each victory, your faction's dominance increases. Hey guys, Spartan Jess here. And today, I wanted to share my idea about how to create a board game version of Galactic Conquest while also combining it with Halo gameplay. And before we get started with the rules about how to play Galactic Conquest, I wanted to express that this idea originated from the original Galactic Conquest from Star Wars Battlefront. And no, I don't mean that Star Wars Battlefront, or that one. Most Star Wars Battlefront fans will probably be familiar with the rules that I'm going to explain, and with the game mode's board-like nature, I couldn't resist to create a Halo-themed board game version of it, while also combining it with some Halo gameplay. This just seemed like the perfect opportunity for some fun LAN parties with my friends. Hopefully it could be for you guys too. Now the materials I used to create this board game will be listed in the description below if you guys are interested in creating this game for yourselves. Let us begin. So before starting the game, each team must manually change their species to Spartans for red team and elites for blue team. Each team must choose a home planet by placing their faction specific tokens on the maps listed under the planets. Once that's done, each team must take turns with conquering the rest of the planets on the board. Each team will start the game with 1,000 resources, or currency. This currency is used to buy three different types of bonuses to effect a galactic scaled war, listed as field bonuses, loadout bonuses, and fleet bonuses. Different kinds of fleets can also be bought for your faction, but we'll talk about that later. Field bonuses are used to affect the actual gameplay of the Halo battles. For example, the Marksman bonus rewards twice the amount of points for headshots. However, this affects everyone in the game. Loadout bonuses permanently unlock specific weapons for your team. For example, if your team buys the Rifleman class, your team will have DMRs or neither rifles available. Here's the list of loadouts the Spartans can unlock for their team. And here is the list of loadouts the elites can unlock for their team. Last but not least, the fleet bonuses. The fleet bonuses are used specifically for fleets moving on the board. For example, the hyperdrive bonus allows a fleet to move twice the distance of a regular movement. Each team can have a maximum of three field bonuses, four loadout bonuses, and one fleet bonus. At the beginning of a team's turn on the board, the attacking team must first buy bonuses, construct their first medium fleet onto an already owned planet, and move towards the nearest planet. If the planet is owned by the enemy team, your team may choose which map to fight on. The attacking team may first choose a field bonus, while the defending team may choose a field bonus second. To make sure the bonuses are applied for the battle, manually change the settings in the game mode that was chosen by the attacking team, to correctly represent the bonuses that were chosen by each team. Also, if there are any loadouts unlocked, make sure to change them from hidden to unhidden. The game types the attacking team can choose are Slayer, King of the Hill, Capture the Flag, one team assault, neutral territories, or invasion, if available. As represented by the settings, the battle will reflect the bonuses chosen. If the attacking team won the battle, they may replace the enemy faction's token on the map that was fought on, and replace it with their own. After the battle, each team counts up their victory or loss points, based on the map that was fought on, counts up extra resources earned from already conquered planets, add them up, and receive the rewarded resources, or currency. After all these steps have been completed, the attacking team ends their turn, and the defending team can now start their turn on the board. Each faction can purchase three different types of fleets, ranging from small, medium, and large fleets. The size of a fleet can determine how many bonuses an attacking team can deploy. For example, the smallest size fleet can deploy only one bonus, 
while the medium-sized fleet can deploy two bonuses. A large fleet can deploy three bonuses, and is the most expensive thing to buy in the game. If an attacking fleet has a counter to enemy fleet, then they must engage each other into a fleet battle. Use a Mythic Slayer game type for this battle. couple different ways to win a game of Galactic Conquest. In order for your team to win a Galactic Conquest game though, your team must conquer all planets on the board, for total control of the galaxy, conquer the enemy's home planet, your faction's dominance increases, or just conquer a specific amount of planets discussed between both teams. The best part about this game is the amount of freedom regarding the rule set. Before I end the video, I want to mention a few things. Just about all the maps with vehicles on them I edited to accommodate each faction's spawn points. For example, I edited the Tempest map to have human vehicles and weapons for the red team side, while also editing the blue team side with covenant vehicles and weapons. I'll also make sure to upload the fleet battles map that I made to my file share if any of you guys are interested in using this map for Galactic Conquest, or just for the sake of playing on it. I'll make sure to upload the game mode used specifically for the map as well. At the moment, I've only made Galactic Conquest for Halo Reach because 1, it's my favorite Halo game, and 2, because I know Halo Reach will be releasing to the Master Chief Collection soon. But if you guys are interested to see this Galactic Conquest game be used with other Halo games, let me know in the comments section below. It seems the Master Chief Collection will be perfect to accommodate Galactic Conquest in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Please, like and subscribe. And don't forget, this is truly Combat Evolved. I'll see you next time. Each world that you control grants your faction a planetary bonus.